Hi, my name is Dr. Yan Hu. And my name is Dr. Rafi Royan, and we're here at the University of California, San Diego. Although you can tell just by looking at this picture, these African school children are infected with one of the most prevalent and insidious parasites in the world. Today, we're updating you on a report we've just published in the scientific journal PLOS Neglected Tropical Diseases that deals with these parasites. Parasitic intestinal roundworms, or helminths, are one of the great diseases of our time, infecting more than 2 billion people in tropical countries. That's more than the entire populations of North America and Europe combined. These parasites are a tremendous source of ill health, causing stunted growth in children, decreased intelligence and memory, malnutrition, lack of energy, loss of appetite, immune defects, and increased susceptibility to diseases like malaria, TB, and HIV. We have very few drugs, none of which are totally effective for dealing with these parasites. In the past 30 years, in fact, only one drug, tribendimidine, developed by the Chinese Centers for Disease Control, has reached human clinical trials. Here I will tell you how we figure out the mode of action of trypanidamidine. We use a laboratory roundworm, C. elegans, which is related to the parasites. Although trypanidamidine can kill C. elegans, I was able to find mutants resistant to this drug. On the left is the normal worm made sick by the drug, and on the right is the mutant worm resistant to the drug. Our studies of these mutants proved that trypanidamidine has the same mechanism of action as one of our current classes of antiworm drugs, like Printo. This finding is very important for guiding how the medical community might best use this drug in the future and how they might be able to prevent the parasites from becoming resistant.